everybody. This is Mr. Zook. I am going to go ahead and go over the Google Classroom basics that you probably already know from just doing stuff at school and it's the way you got here. So basics for Google Classroom, how to get to Google Classroom. You can type in Google Classroom or the best way to do it that I think is if you open anything that's Google related and you click on these little dots up here, you're going to see a link to Google Classroom. Now my hope is that once you've done that, you set up a bookmark for yourself. So let's do that right now. You can pause the video if you want, but you're going to click on the little lock here and you're going to drag it to your bookmark bar. The other way to do that is to just click on the star, but you want this to be very easily accessible. All right. Um, and <laughs> then you're all set. So the next thing is this is your Google Classroom home screen. This is where it's going to land every time you open it up, and it shows every class that you're taking. Um, you can clean it up however you want, but really the most important thing is that you click on this, we call this the sandwich. Click on the sandwich, and you can see all the classes. I can see the classes I'm teaching. Um, but it, the cool thing about this is there's something called a to-do list. And the to-do list shows everything that you have to complete in the near future. And then if you click on this part, you can see everything that you've completed and turned in. You can see I haven't completed the stuff I'm supposed to complete it, but that's okay. So that's the to-do list. And then once you get into your classes, I'm going to use my example class. Um, the stream is where your teacher can post things that are important to you, like links or just comment with, you can, you can also share things with your class. Just be careful what you say. And then under classwork is where you'll see your assignments. So all of your assignments should be posted under classwork. I'm going to go down here. Um, once they're posted, you can click on it once and it allows you to kind of see a, a preview of it, but you need to click on view assignment to see the whole assignment. And once it's in this view, I can see all of the links related to it. And then I can see this button. I click when I'm complete, I click it to mark as done and that sends it to my teacher. That's like putting it in the box, but I need to make sure I've added the correct thing or created the correct thing. So. For example, if this was a writing assignment, I might add or create and then go and find in my Google Drive the piece of writing that I already created. Um, it's usually right under recent. So like here's my um, digital learning calendar. I might add that, right? So you click add, you're gonna see it there. And then once you turn it in, once you mark it as done, you can't access it again until your teacher gives it back to you. So if I click turn in, that means the teacher gets it and it's, it can't be edited anymore, all right? And then what your teacher's gonna do is your teacher might make some comments. You can also comment to your teacher right here if you need to. Um, and then they're gonna send it back to you, which is like actually taking the assignment and giving it back to you. So it works just like the classroom. It's just a little bit more clunky and complicated. But this is where you wanna go if you wanna check how you did an assignment. If your teacher has comments for you, this is where you would check it. And if your teacher doesn't return it, you might want to send them a little message and say, hey, Mr. Zook, you forgot to grade this. So that covers everything with Google Classroom. Um, and I hope that's really 